good evening and welcome to a time set apart for prayer and scripture. A time to take a deep breath and for a few moments to release the burdens of the day. I hope you enjoyed last week's blessing of the animal service, which is one of my favorites of the year. And I look forward to hopefully worshiping outside on the lawn together with our furry friends next year. Let's begin with our gathering words. We gather here in your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you for you come to us in Jesus and you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because you invite us to come and you have promised never to turn us away. Coming up on November 1st, we will celebrate All Saints Sunday and remember those who have gone before us in the faith. Those from our congregation who have passed away will be named and a candle will be lit as we thank God for their witness and blessings in our lives. The Psalm that I chose for tonight was written by Moses as he and the Israelites wandered for 40 years in the desert before they reached the promised land. Moses reflects on the brief span of life and the importance of the work of God's servants while we are on this part of life's journey. So here's a reading from Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80 if we are strong. Even then their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us and many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotion that I chose for tonight is from Our Daily Bread, and it was written by David Roper, and it's entitled, Do We Matter? David writes, For some months now, I've been corresponding with a young man who's thinking deeply about faith. On one occasion, he wrote, we're no more, we are no more than teeny, tiny, infinitesimal blips on the timeline of history. Do we matter? Moses, Israel's prophet, would agree. Our days quickly pass and we fly away. The brevity of life can worry us and cause us to wonder if we matter. We do. We matter because we're deeply eternally loved by the God who made us. In this poem, Moses prays, satisfy us with your unfailing love. We matter because we matter to God. We also matter because we can show God's love to others. Though our lives are short, they're not meaningless if we leave a legacy of God's love. We're not here on earth to make money and retire in style, but to show God to others by showing them God's love. And finally, though life here on earth is transient, we are creatures of eternity. Because Jesus rose from the dead, we'll live forever. That's what Moses meant when he assured us that God will satisfy us in the morning with God's unfailing love. On that morning, we'll rise to live and love and be loved forever. And if that doesn't create meaning, 
I don't know what does. Well, Martin Luther, he used to speak about the importance of vocations in all of life. The Christian car dealer, perhaps, is just as important as the Christian teacher. No matter what we do, we all can share the love of God and help others to know Christ in all of our various roles we play in all the different hats we wear. And like Moses, we all can ask God's help in all that we do. One of the places that we do ask for God's help is when we bring our joys and our concerns, our cares, and the things that just give us blessing in life, when we bring those all to God in prayer. And so let's pray our prayers of intercession together. We lift up to God our joys and concerns, the things which we are thankful for and those that weigh us down, knowing that God hears our prayers and answers them with mercy and grace. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those who suffer pain and ill health with their families, friends, and those who care for them. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those who suffer in mind and spirit and all who care for them. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence the suffering people of our world and the places where people are experiencing division, injustice, and violence. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those struggling to overcome addiction or abuse, those supporting and working with them, and all whose suffering has distanced them from those they love. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those facing grief. We also pray for those who have died. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we give you thanks for health restored and prayers answered. We hold in your healing presence and peace those whose needs are not known to us, those on our prayer list, and for those whose names we do not know, but who are known to you. May they know the deep peace of Christ. May your wisdom, God, guide nurses, doctors, and those who work in every part of our healthcare system here and around the world. We pray for our first responders and military. May they know the deep peace of Christ. God of compassion and love, we offer you all of our suffering and pain. Give us strength to bear our weakness, healing even when there is no cure. Peace in the midst of turmoil and worried minds and love to fill the spaces in our lives. Glory to God from whom all love flows. Glory to Jesus who showed his love through suffering and glory to the Holy Spirit, who brings light to the darkest places. Amen. Gathered by the Holy Spirit together as the body of Christ, let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, friends, may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, that we may abound in hope, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, a peaceful night, and a good rest of your week. God bless. <music>